Hello everybody. Yes, I had um, a visit craft event yesterday. Well, craft market as you call them. And um, yeah, I had a good day. Sold loads of my crochet items, which were brilliant. So today back in the studio. So trying to catch up now. So I had two days where I needed to do some um, crocheting. Because I sold a lot the, following, the previous, well, two weeks ago. And I didn't do anything for a week. I left it alone, except in the evenings for an hour or so and then um yeah the last two days i'm thinking oh my gosh i need to do this i need to do that so it was like a bit hectic but all done and went very well so i'm doing that once a fortnight so then i have a week on doing videos and everything and a week where intermittent so and then i also done the collaboration video so that sort of took sort of like a day really to do that you know so that's done now. So I thought I would, um, I need some tags for the journal I'm doing. So I thought I'd make some out of, um, what have I got? What did I pick? Um, a couple of the images from something, um, one of my earlier kits, a lot earlier, um, years ago. Um, but there's loads of them, like Victorian ladies, there's Victorian children, there's all different ones. And these have been shrunk down. That's from the kit. That's another one there. And I just thought they all went really well. Um, some scrap pieces of this, which were cut off the tags I've already backed. So I thought I'd do some of that. And this is embossed paper with a rose. Yeah, but it was quite thin. So I've backed that onto scrap scrapbook paper. That bit was um, a file folder, so that's fine. And the same as that. Okay. So I just thought I'd do something really simple, yeah, just so that I can get three done and they can go in each signature. All right, now, I think I was sat here and all I've done, I've got a piece of this, yeah, <laughs> piece of paper. Let's, let's do that. We could do use the ticket as well, but so that piece of scrap paper, doily. And a topper, yeah, and stitch around it. You can glue it on, or you can. I direct. I would directly do that. Okay, let's do it with a ticket, or let's do one of these. So let's get doily. Just check these on. That's not too wide for a tag. So okay, let's get a bit of that. paper or tickets actually I quite like the paper so take, don't need all that any scrap piece of paper just to add a little bit more interest and I'm just going to check the width on this no I think that's fine we'll still get away with it what I will do is I'll just move that over there a bit. Okay. Oops. Like so. And then stitch it like that. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'll go ahead and do those. And that's... You know, and then you put them on and you've got three tags and a little bit of decoration, you know, with some some lace and stuff and three tags or two tags so far. So I do another one, which is here, which is my prototype. There. Okay. And so I'll go ahead and stitch around like I did there on those. Yeah. I haven't used any glue or anything. And that's it. Right, so they're done. Yeah, you can ink up a little bit if need be. Just a bit there. I think um, that one's okay. That, that one's all right. There we go. Right, let's do this one first. Okay. No tag shape yet, but that's all right. We can um, sort that out. Right, 
actually do all three, but this one's a bit skinnier because that's all I had left of that foil folder. So I'll just move it over there. Get the card on. Do them all together. I do. I tend to do it by eye, really, because I've done so many of them. I sort of, I'm all right now with it. But when you first start, you do tend to um, go wrong a bit. <laughs> and the tag changes shape. Some people cut that off and then use the other side. That's all right. I just use a credit card, which I've always done. Oops. Right, I did have some scraggly bits. There we are. I wanted to get rid of these because I took them off some nice bits of linen. And that was like the end bit. So I've just got a few bits here. These could be quite nice ruffles that, that tends to go with the colour scheme. Yeah. So um, let's have a look. A bit of this. Yeah. I want a bow, I'm not sure, but I'll get one out just in case. Um, I don't know what that is. It's been hanging around for a bit. So it's that. And this, these bits of linen. And I thought that would look nice underneath. Poking through there. So I shall put a bit on, a bit of glue. This lightly this shows through this is not um this is cohol one not fabri-tac so sometimes it will show through so i'm not applying that much glue oh if you're not stitching you know glue them down so and you can also stitch them on if you want so but i'd already backed mine so And also, because you haven't glued any of this down yet, you can tuck things underneath if you want to. You know, I'd have a bit of that there. Um, maybe a bit of this. Not a heavy one. I never call anything finished until it's in the journal. <laughs> and then sometimes when I'm doing the video, I'm like, ah, that, that one's up there. Or... Okay, just a bit of that. And that, this is only, it's, um, off something that's quite ornate. Yeah, and I just cut little bits off. So if you do buy these, I mean, they can be quite expensive to buy these, you know, because they're usually at the bottom of wedding dresses, aren't they? Um, but if you look at how many little embellishments you can get, yeah, I mean, there's like, there's there's one there, there's a little one there, there's two, that may be a big one there, three. Okay, I usually cut, end up cutting this, and then this one could be four. And um, when I cut that off, it goes in my little pot here. Yeah, that we can do things with at a later date. All right, so that's that. Now, we you can add a bit of washi tape if you want. Some words or... Let's have that. I've got some safety pins, which is quite nice. Um, but I wouldn't put them on until... And I would definitely ink that up a bit because that's a little bit white looking and again it's just a rusty safety pin with a bit of fabric i actually think that look would look nice there yeah okay i'm gonna stitch around that first and have a little look all right and if i'm happy with it and then i stick this down then i will glue this down here 
because I wasn't sure really what I was going to do there. But could have something coming out of the top there. Let's have a look. Could have a little bit of that actually. Yep. Okay, and time we stitch around, this bottom bit may look a bit different. Yep. Okay. Okay, right. So I stitched around that, and I actually stitched around the other two while I was there because they're, you know, basically all the same. Okay, decoration may be different. So, all right, I found something that I quite liked here. Yeah, so it's a little bit of gold net and that that I originally sort of wanted to use that's there so that's just a grommet and then you know some fibers but that's basically it okay okay all right let's do another one so it's that one there so let's see what we got so we need a little bit of lace or something um i think that one will brighten up that that's just a bit of net and then scrooge it up and just stitched across it yeah i'll keep that for that one i might do that actually being funny but that might work with a bit of this behind it because of the straight edge there so Yeah, I do fancy that up there, so I'm just going to do that. And then another layer, a little bit of glue. Tuck that under there. That's there, and something up here. Right, I think I'm going OTT with this one. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Let's put the grommet in first. gonna do that i'm thinking right how to tie a bow with it looking like the right angle so i'm gonna thread that through first right
most probably could have halved that for the bow, but I'm actually <laughs> going to keep it because I quite like it. <laughs> I'm just twisting it until it sort of looks about right and then glue that down like that. I usually do this with hot glue. Right? Yep, love it. Okay, and the next one. Right, what was I going to do? I don't know. <laughs> I quite like that. <laughs> quite like that bit of fabric. Then it was gonna be a little bit of that, maybe some of this. That's a, just a bit I got off there. Then what I've cut off. spread out a bit more actually I think I'm gonna go that way I want that over the side of the page right. Right, so that's all dry now, and I think I've, I've added the fibres to the top. Um, I'm going to leave that as is because I quite like it. You might not be able to see it on camera, but this is, you know, all embossed, and that is actually quite pretty. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. So there's the other one, and that is that one. Okay, and so that's three there done. You know, basically same way of doing it. The three toppers were done almost identical, really, except for different toppers. And there we are. We've got three tags to go in the journal. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.